This time out, I'm gonna show you how I speed up my mix prep process by using SoundFlow. Let's dive in. With SoundFlow, users can streamline their workflows and save time by automating common tasks. SoundFlow allows a user to create custom scripts using their software interface without writing any code. These scripts can automate tasks such as opening applications, navigating menus, typing text, and much more. Let's take a look and I'll show you how I organize my stereo mix sessions and I'll explain how SoundFlow helps me speed up my mix prep time. From setting up decks to utilizing macros, I'll illustrate some ways that you might be able to speed up your workflow. All right, let's move over to the DAW and we'll first take a look at my mix template. All right, so what I have here from left to right, I'm gonna glance over this stuff because um, it would take hours to walk through everything. In full transparency, I'm using the Michael Brower mix template from Pure Mix. Those guys over there, I absolutely love Pure Mix. Um, Mr. Brower did a walkthrough of his template last year, and it's absolutely phenomenal. This template's so flexible. And while I've gone in and changed some things, some processing preferences, um, most of what he had in terms of routing, VCAs, the multi mix bus, his whole approach is absolutely incredible. So I will link that in the description. So if you wanna get your hands on this exact template, you can do so. Let's get into the meat of this. So I have recolor coded this entire template um, to my liking. Drums are always red for me. Uh, but what you can see is, let's focus on here. So the busing. Um, the way Mr. Brower had set this up, again, I don't want to take away anything from Pure Mix. Um, I encourage you, if you're really interested in this template, go buy it. It's absolutely a game changer. Um, but what this template did is it, is it mapped as, as close as they could get from one to one for uh, mixing on the console. So you'll see a lot of channels and in those channels are essentially a folder track. So down the line, you got all your drums and then there's different um, folders created. I've created and added some things myself. Um, all these map to a VCA, you get sound effects. So things like drums one, drums two, you know, somebody sends in just a loop of drums, you can organize those in any of these folders. They still map to the proper VCA. Sound effects, the bass is a little um, hard to explain. You essentially have bass one and two, which is either neck of the sound or the body of the sound, and you can ride those separately. Um, there are folder tracks for stereo bass or synth bass, subs. Um, long story short, I think the best way to summarize all these folders down the line here, even into the vocals, is you know somebody like Mr. Brower with his experience, he mixes a lot of different genres and this template is really flexible. He can mix you know contemporary pop, rock, uh, R&B down the line. It's it's really amazing the way uh, the, or to to see how he's created uh, that flexibility in a mix template. All right. So now that I've illustrated a little bit about the mix template and some of those details, let's dive into SoundFlow and I'll show you how this all connects. If I go up to SoundFlow, I'm going to open this up. Here's what SoundFlow looks like. And as you can see, here is my default deck for Pro Tools. Now, when I say deck, what does that mean? Um, I have a Stream Deck on my desk, and I have currently the Stream Deck XL, and I'm experimenting with the smaller Stream Deck. Uh, which one is that? I can't remember the name of it. Stream Deck 5x3. So I have the 5x3 at home, so what you'll see is most of my decks are laid out like that. Um, I haven't fully migrated everything over to the XL, um, but that's a work in progress. So as you can see on this deck, I can open up my Pro Tools preferences. If I flip back to Pro Tools, and if I hit, hit a button on the Stream Deck, opens up prefs. I can open my IO, right? Open playback engine. I've got all these assigned. Um, and that's the deck, how you, des how you design that. So, Pro Tools um, has some some uh, built-in functionality. I believe you can do Logic and other DAWs as well. I'd hit the SoundFlow site to see what their updates are because they're constantly updating and adding things. 
Um, you can essentially, you know, grab or search for any sort of command within Pro Tools and drop it on a key. And then uh, here's my default package again. Um, so I have created some things here. And let's just kind of walk through them. So here's my default desk, or sorry, my default deck. This is when I start on my computer. I can launch Trello, I can launch Zoom, I can launch Pro Tools, Apple Music, and then Arc Browser. Um, which shout out to Arc Browser, That's that browser is amazing. Uh, as well as 1Password, and or this key that's just labeled SF, pretty generic looking key that launches Soundflow. So if I go into Pro Tools itself, when I switch to Pro Tools, um, Soundflow knows that. So let me find the default deck for Pro Tools right here. So that's the deck I was just showing you. And essentially, you can design these decks, right? You can create a new deck and you can assign very easily inside this interface. When Pro Tools becomes active, uh, I want you to show this deck. And that's how we do that. When Pro Tools launches, show this deck. Um, so it's almost reminds me, uh, I'm not a huge coder, but I know just enough about coding to be dangerous. Um, like if else sort of statements. Um, and if you go back to Finder, like that's the key uh, for Soundflow to show my default, right? So here's when Finder becomes active. And so that's really helpful. And then it's basically just drag and drop, or you can create your own custom ones, which let's dive into that. So if I go back to Pro Tools, what I figured out in terms of mix prep, um, what really helped me, and I'm just gonna in, in, import one bit of audio to show I have a mix coming up and the guys just sent me files. Uh, so what I am going to do is bring this audio file into my mix template and then show you the way that I'm using Soundflow to mix prep really fast, right? So looks like this is two mono um, kick tracks. And what I want to do is assign those to channel five. Now, because I had the, the folder uh, track selected, it already put those tracks in that folder. But typically I import all the tracks down at the end of the session. And yeah, it's as simple as dragging them in the folder. And then I can select these tracks and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show the deck real quick so you can see it because you can't see my stream deck. So here's the mix prep deck. All right, so now with using my stream deck in Soundflow, I can select any track inside of Pro Tools and route it to an output and color code it. So what you see here is this arrow takes me back to the previous deck. I can import audio, I can import session data. I can actually even change the track colors if I want to change my mind or go to no track color. Um, and then I have just a blank key here called uh, channel numbers, because again, that's how the mix template of mine is set up. Track numbers five through 18. If I go up here and show you the deck, that's five through 18. Why five through 18? Well, that's the maximum amount of keys that were available on the stream deck five by three. So I do a lot of mix prep at home. And what I love about this is I can mix prep in minutes. Um, it did take me a few hours to set up these scripts and to set up Soundflow, but once you do it, it saves to the cloud. Um, it all and it's all there. You can sign in and sign out. Um, so you can use multiple machines under one account. And let's get back on topic. So if I come back to the mix prep deck, and in this case, I'm gonna flip back to Pro Tools. I want to assign these two kick drums to channel five. So I'm going to press mix prep. I'm going to go into, so I'll show you that. I'm going to go into channel five through 18 on the stream deck. And then I'm just going to select channel five. And it's going to throw an error because I just realized something. I forgot you cannot do this from the mix window. You have to do it from the edit window. And I always forget that. So let's select these tracks. Go back into the, my mix prep deck, channel five. And what you'll see, Soundflow just activated itself. It changed the outputs to channel five. 
and it also changes the color. Awesome stuff. So now you can imagine doing that across the entire mix. Like I can literally mix prep a song that has 70, 80, 90 tracks in five minutes. It's so fast. Now let's take a look at how I do that. So what I'm doing in this function is recalling a track preset, right? You can hit this track data to recall and what you would do to save the output you would want to, I'm gonna to have to find it, main output settings, and then track colors. So that essentially is what I have done. I've done a track preset for all the channels in my mix template, any routing, and then I can just recall those at any time using Soundflow. All right, let's take a look at how those track presets are created within Soundflow. I'll show you how I do that track preset recall. All right, so I'm gonna unassign these two kick drums as if we're starting fresh. And let's just go blue, whatever standard color is that they come in on. All right, so we're gonna go over to Soundflow here. All right, so I'm gonna clear this assignment and we're gonna make a macro together. So what I wanna do is make a macro for channel five, the track preset that I've created within Pro Tools so that Soundflow recalls that when I press the key on the stream deck. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna label this channel five. I'm gonna do a line break here and name it test, just so it's different than the channel five that I already have. If you look here, I've got a channel five macro already. So you can add an existing command or you can add a new macro. So we're going to delete this one I created as a test and we're gonna create a new one. So if I go back into the deck, that's five through 18, and that's the deck that assigns my channel outputs and recalls the track colors for channels five through 18. Let's make a new macro. So you press this macro and you get the option to do a new macro or a new, or a new script. We want a macro. It kind of is a pulling in my previous, so you would name it at this time. And all right, this screen says, perform the following actions when this macro is run. It looks like you haven't added any actions to your macro yet. And some further directions here where you can add pre-built commands. And what we're gonna do is click this add action button. All right, now what we're gonna do is type in recall track preset. This just happens to be one of the stock Soundflow commands inside their Pro Tools package. All right, so there we go. Now we just need to tell Soundflow where that track preset resides on my computer so that when I press the button, it recalls it. And what I do typically to double check myself is open up Finder, you go into Documents. All right, so this is where Pro Tools saves their track presets in your users folder. So um, track presets, Avid, and then I have my own folder, SDG, my initials, and then all my track presets. I'm gonna take this one and just copy this so it's verbatim. So what we would do is Avid, lowercase, SDG is the folder. Again, that let's map that together. You had avid, lowercase, has to be exact as written or else it won't work. And then we want channel five, I'm gonna paste and hit enter on my keyboard. Now, if we go back to Pro Tools and uh, let me do this, I'm gonna go into my mix prep real quick. And inside Soundflow, if I go back to the deck for channel five through 18, you'll see channel five test is there. And let's find the channel five test macro in this list. That's the one we just created, right? Hopefully it's making sense. We're gonna go through five through 18. So I'm gonna press that button here in a second. Back to Pro Tools, I'm gonna select both of these tracks. Go into my mix prep deck. I'm gonna go into the deck labeled five through 18. And now I'm gonna hit channel five test and 
These two tracks should change to red and the output should change to channel five. So there you go. As you can see, SoundFlow is a pretty amazing tool that can be programmed in many different ways. I'm particularly using it in a track preset realm because that's what worked for my mix template. But I'm sure there are ways that you can think about how to use it on your end to speed up your workflow. They have a 30 day trial, I believe. So I'd encourage anyone that's interested to download that trial and give it a shot. And this is not a paid endorsement. I just really love this application. As always, thanks for watching. If you found this one helpful, hit those like and subscribe buttons for me. It goes a long way in helping this channel grow. I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.